Today we're in the beautiful community of Long Mountain in Mountain View. Today, the citizens of Long Mountain have come together to launch a cleanup activity to take back their community. Come with us as we journey with the citizens of this community. This is the first of many series to come as the citizens of Mountain View share their stories, their journey, their challenges as we, Flo and the Rotary Club of Kingston, try to help them to develop their community to become better citizens of Jamaica. Our situation is not our destination. Well, I'm sure you know that the Rotary Club is an international body. It's a non-government organization. That is, motto is a, basically a service of self. We go around and we help people. Um, we're going to make better people of themselves. Um, the Rotary Club, in terms of its membership, that's what it's all about. So one of the projects that we were looking at was a leadership initiative project and um, which is called the Rotary Community Forum. So there are various, leader, various leadership projects. This one that we're involved in is a Rotary um, with the hope of course to get them all together and one big Mountain View community. And hopefully we could have a Rotary Club of Mountain View. Of Mountain View. But that is just, that is way down the road. For the time being, we have to start some projects. So the first project that we have decided to have for it, uh, the Jardine uh, Long Mountain Community or District, is a cleanup project. So that's why we're here today. Um, I'm normally in a suit, jacket, and tie, and all of that. So I have to go with a little hat and try and rough right. it out today. So it's a cleanup project. Um, next week or next month, we'll be going across the Jokes Road, and they have some other projects that they want to undertake. So at the end of the day, we'll be making better persons. Mm -hmm. Better persons will make better community, right. and a better community will make a better nation. So is a group of community members who are tired of seeing the community downgraded and looking this way so we just come together and say well then we need the community to be developed and step up now to reach into society level. What are some of the things you hope to achieve from this community programs that you have planned? Well we plan to achieve self-confidence and of course, everyone have an ambition. So we hope through this club and the work with Flo and the Rotary, we will see our ambition come true. Today we have Kiwana, a member of the Pepper Community Club, and she'll be telling us a little bit of her experience living here in Mountain View and what it is that she wants to achieve for her community on this cleanup day and for the rest of the year. I'm a graduate and I've left school for the past three years and I've been setting up the application. They are said I'm too qualified but experience is not there for like young people to be trained and have space to go there in the bigger world experience. Not to be community nice. We just want love and peace and unity inside here. You understand? And stop the bag of and all the you they want help. We have Alicia, Vice President of the PEPO community club. She'll be telling us a little bit of all the planning that went into the activities for today. Okay, good day. Actually, we came together in a meeting to discuss all the problems that we have in our community. One of the problems that we faced was um, the heap of bushes and debris in the community. So we said, all right, we'll come together, plan a specific day to have the, the community cleaned. So that was just exactly how we come about having the cleanup day. What do you think about the uh, Rotary and Flo coming together to help your community? What do you think about that? Rotary and Flo together, excellent. It has been helping us quite, quite well, quite well. What, what are some of the things you want to see happen for your community? Some of the um, you know, achievements that you want for your community? First and foremost, most of the young men get educated. We have a lot of illiterate young men and I said young men because most of the young girls my age group and a little bit over they are more educated than the young boys. We're here with Ross Royal. Yeah from 72 from Thunder Yard you know. Okay Ro yeah, Ross Royal what yeah. do you think of the cleanup day activity here today? Well it's a it's a good thing because you can see obviously the place needs some tender love and care, you know, and we, we have the community come together and say, yeah, man, what do I think? We have Sophia Smith here with us, a member of the Flow Mentorship Group. 
Sophia will be sharing with us the reason why she joined the mentorship program and what are some of the, the things that she would like to see happen for this community. Yeah. Um, I've always had an interest in giving back in whatever way I can to the country and to persons who are in need. I've, I've really, really never had the time because of um, school and stuff like that. And then now that Flo has decided to embark on this program, I've decided to take part my way of giving back. It's a small step, but we salute the members of the Mountain View community. Join us for another series in Building Leaders in Our Community.